I'm going to show you how to use the disk manipulator in refined storage. This is how you can empty your disks and drives, and this is how you can import items and drives into your system as well. So first up, let's take a drive and let's shove some stuff in it. Um, so in this drive, I believe we have 160 oak planks. So I'm going to take out this drive. They're no longer in the system. I go into my disk manipulator, and you always put them in the inside. This in and out does not mean import into the system, outport from the system. This is just where we're putting things. So in order to designate if we are importing into the system from a drive or a disk, or exporting from the system into a disk, that's on the left here for um, I.O. mode, which means import output mode. Do we want to extract from the network or insert? I'm going to say I want to insert into the network from this drive. So I place the drive in, and as you can see, the number in the drive is going down, and it will eventually reach zero, and then it will go into the out slot. There we go, because it is now empty. And we have inserted all of the items in that disk into the network. Now, what I'm then going to do is say extract from the network. But you can see here we've got these slots at the top, and I'm going to filter them for oak planks, meaning that the other items in here will be left alone. So I can just say, there we go. Now, as you can see, nothing is happening, and that's because I'm blacklisting the oak planks. But if I whitelist them, you can see the oak planks are now flowing out of the system and into my storage disk. And therefore, that is how we extract into a disk from the disk manipulator. You can add in speed upgrades or stack upgrades in this right-hand slot here to make it a lot faster. I would recommend using a stack upgrade and then some speed upgrades to get the best of both worlds. The other filters we have on here, do we want it to work with redstone or not? Obviously, we've gone over IO mode, items or fluids, whitelist or blacklist, an exact mode on or off, which is the same as a fuzzy mode, which basically means if you have items that have durability, do we want to be um, saying, I only want this exact durability? Um, or maybe bees, you know, anything that has attributes, do we want to match it exactly? Or can it just be that item, no matter what kind of durability it's on? One thing to note is if I put this to insert into the network, you can see here the storage disk is not doing anything at all. That's because it's on whitelist. When on whitelist, it does require a whitelist. If you want to just do everything, you must set it now to blacklist, and you can see that nothing is blacklisted, and therefore it's all going to flow into the system. But with the whitelist, it's saying, well, there's nothing to whitelist, so I can't input. Blacklist, there's nothing to blacklist, it all goes into the system. And there you go. That is how you use the disk manipulator in refined storage.